Irene, is David doing okay? He has been working overtime lately, so he's a bit more low energy than usual. He's doing fine otherwise. Why do you ask? I was in the hospital for a checkup yesterday, and I think I saw him there. Or at the very least, someone who looked just like him. I wanted to approach him, but then I noticed he wasn't alone. Is he really okay? You can be honest with me. Are you sure it was him? He said he worked all day yesterday. He hasn't mentioned anything about visiting a hospital. I'm 99% sure. You said he wasn't alone, right? Do you remember who he was with? He was accompanied by a young woman. I took a picture just in case. Do you know who she is? Yes, that's his assistant, Jessica. I wonder what they were doing at the hospital. They were standing pretty close to you. Did you happen to overhear why they were there? That's the strangest part. Apparently, she was there to take a pregnancy test. Really? I thought home pregnancy tests were just as accurate as the ones you'd get at the doctor's office. Why'd she drive all the way there? I don't know. Maybe she was getting a blood test? Don't you find it strange that your husband was there with her? Well, David's always had a lot of sympathy for her. He must have offered to drive her to the hospital. She may be young, but she's had a tough life. She's a single mother of two, living paycheck to paycheck. Poor thing has been struggling since the untimely passing of her husband. She has nothing and no one left. Oh, I, I had no idea. Oh, the thought of adding another child to the mix must have been stressful for her. He was probably trying to be supportive, but I still think he should have mentioned it to you. He must have been trying to respect her privacy. I get it. He doesn't have to report everything he does to me. <laughs> All right, if you say so. Sorry, I guess I was being nosy. Well, now I feel bad. No, it's okay. You were just looking out for your sister. I appreciate you letting me know. Sure, anytime. Hi, David. Are you still at work? Yes, why? No reason. I just missed you and wanted to check on you. I was talking to my sister, and she told me she saw someone who looked just like you at the hospital yesterday. I told her it couldn't have been you, but she insisted the resemblance was uncanny. Oh, is that so? Yeah, so was that really you? She must have mistaken me for someone else. I have a pretty generic appearance. There's no way it could have been me. I was at work all day. Are you sure? You know, you can tell me if something's bothering you. I'll try my best to help out. I'm doing fine, Irene. I promise. There's no need to get riled up over a simple misunderstanding. I'm not angry, David. All I'm trying to say is that you don't have to hide anything from me. I'll always try to do my best to support you. I know, it's just that you're starting to sound far too accusatory. I'm not hiding anything from you. I have to get back to work now. I'll see you back at home, okay? Sure, I'm sorry for bothering you. It's okay. Please just try not to make a habit out of this. I miss you too, but when I'm at the office, I need to focus all my attention on my work. Especially now that my workload's increased. I know, I'm sorry. We can talk at home. I know I said it was probably nothing, but I'm starting to get a bit worried. Why? What happened? David denied ever being at the hospital. He got very defensive when I brought it up later. I get that it's a sensitive, personal matter, but I'm his wife. Does he really not trust me, or is there something else going on? I don't know. Am I being too irrational? Should I just let this go? What do you think, Charlotte? As you said, he could just be trying to protect her privacy. Is it just this one thing, or has he done anything else that's made you suspect something was wrong? His work schedule's been altered. He also asked me not to text him during work hours anymore. Oh, and he's been a bit on edge recently. I assumed he was stressed out from working overtime, but now I'm not so sure. That's definitely worth investigating. I'll drive back to the hospital and see if I can find out more. Where are you getting all this information from? I hope you aren't doing anything illegal. What? No, of course not. The guy I've been seeing works there. He lets me in on the gossip. Please, don't tell anyone about this. I don't want to get him in trouble. That is concerning, but okay, I won't tell a soul about this. Thanks. No problem. I have bad news. I was told he was the one who covered the cost of the blood test. Apparently, he was acting very cold and dismissive towards her the whole time they were in there. Maybe he was having a bad day. I imagine getting your mistress pregnant would be an unpleasant surprise to anyone. They said he kept glaring at her. The test was positive, by the way. No wonder he's always hated the thought of having children, but still, we can't jump to conclusions. All of this is still more like circumstantial evidence. I can't accuse him without proof. Well, then you need to find proof. Go through his phone or tail him after work. I can't just stalk him like a PI. He'll definitely notice me. 
I can't go through his phone either. He never leaves it unlocked. Okay, well, do you have another idea? Well, Jessica's pretty active on Facebook. She posts pictures of her kids along with some inspiring captions and stories. Oh, and she shares a lot of giveaways. Perhaps I could get in touch with her through that. How? Won't she recognize your name? I won't be contacting her using my real name. I'll be contacting her as an admin of the page that's hosting a giveaway. You have a secret Facebook page that hosts giveaways? Is that what you're saying? No, of course not. I'll have to contact one of the pages she frequents and ask them to make me an administrator in exchange for me conducting a couple of fancy giveaways using my own funds. I'll tell her she's one of the winners and try to get some answers out of her. Do you think that will work? It's worth a shot. She's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. I'm just going to have to find a temporary phone number. Oh, and a fake name. And some Photoshop documents. Well, that sounds fun. Good luck. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thank you, I will. Hello, this is Megan. I'm writing to inform you that you've won our iPhone 14 Pro Max giveaway. Congratulations. This is your submission, correct? I hope I have the right number. Oh, gee, yes. Thank you so much. I'm going through a lot at the moment, and this is just the pick-me-up I needed. I really appreciate it. Should I send you my address? I've never won a phone, so I don't know how these things work. Well, yes, but before that, I need to ask you a few questions in order for me to fill out the tax documents. I hope you understand. Of course. First, could you send me a picture of your driver's license? Sure, one second. Here. Thank you. What's your current employment status? I work as a personal assistant full-time. It's nothing extravagant, just a small business run by a wonderful guy. I see. Marital status? Widowed. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. It's been a few years, but it still hurts. Do you have any children? Is this part of the survey? Yes, I'm sorry. I know it's personal, but we're having the phone shipped from overseas, and they have their own set of rules. Once we've filled everything out, I'll cross-check it using a government database to make sure everything is correct. After that, we can ship the phone to your address. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I have two kids, and one more on the way. Oh, you're pregnant? Oh, that's fantastic! Congratulations! We actually have a hidden holiday offer for pregnant winners. They get free AirPods to pair with their phones. No way, really? That's amazing. Sorry, ugh, this is pointless bureaucracy, but we're going to need proof that the winner is actually pregnant. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. We want to make sure that we aren't being lied to. Of course, I get that. Luckily, I should have my test results right here somewhere. I'll go get them. Sure, take your time. Here you go. I hope they are clear enough. They look clear enough to me. We're almost done here. I just need the full legal name of your baby's father. What? Why? It's just to fill out this form. See, it's marked with an asterisk, meaning it's not an optional field. Sorry. Can I enter a random name? How would they know? You could do that, but once the baby is born, the IRS is going to check to make sure you entered it correctly. If it's incorrect, you might get sued. Oh god, I didn't even know they did that. I can live without AirPods. I'll turn down the offer. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't do that. I've already selected the package and it won't let me cancel it without throwing out the entire order. If you don't wish to disclose that information, I guess we could always select another winner. No, wait. It's David Finn Cooper. Are you sure? You can double check the spelling. Yes, the spelling is correct. I don't have proof of his paternity right now, but we'll get a DNA test once the baby's born. Right, thank you. Huh, this is strange. The marital status of the only David Finn Cooper residing in your town is listed as married. Are you sure that's the guy? This is so embarrassing, but yes, he's my boss. I swear he's in the middle of getting a divorce. Oh, I get it. Don't worry about it. We've all been in that situation at some point in our lives. <laughs> when you spend that much time with someone, these things just happen. Oh, I'm so relieved to hear that. Everyone always criticizes us, but they never know the full story. Once we get married, they'll all see that we're meant to be. Married? Jessica, can I give you some friendly advice as someone who's been the other woman several times in her life? Sure, what is it? These older guys, they always talk a big game, but they never have the guts to actually leave their wives. Divorces are usually initiated when the wives find out. Even then, some may not choose to separate. And, well, when the mistress is an employee, they are usually fired and kids are usually abandoned.
I'm just concerned for your well-being. How are you going to take care of three children on your own? But David really loves me. It's true that he hasn't been too happy about the baby, but he'll come around, right? And if he doesn't, if he fires me, he'll still have to pay child support. For one child, with no spousal support, you'll still need to work two to three jobs to stay afloat, and you'll have to get someone to look after the children, too. The costs will only increase as time goes on. Who knows, he might even find a way to avoid paying child support. But there's no way he'll refuse to leave his wife. He told me he was getting bored of the same old thing. Besides, I've heard she's a bitter, joyless woman. I bet she is. Why else would he cheat? But you should always have a backup plan. I wish someone had given me this advice when I was your age. But what can I do? He's your boss, right? I can see here that he owns the business. Just sue the guy. You'll get the settlement and the child support. Would that really work? I've heard of a dozen cases where women like us came out on top using this very method. But of course, you can't do it right away. At first, you have to determine whether or not the guy really is actually planning on leaving his spouse. How do I do that? Give him an ultimatum. Either he agrees to marry you in writing or you tell his wife about your affair. Do this as soon as possible. Even if he refuses to divorce her, you might still manage to secure a good payout for your silence. I'll win either way. You're a genius, Megan. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this advice is probably worth more than the phone I won. <laughs> I'm so lucky I got to talk to you. I can see my younger self in you, Jessica. I'm telling you what I would have told my own granddaughter. I want to help you avoid making the same mistakes as I did. Show him that you're not some toy he can toss away when he gets bored. Stand up for yourself. I will. I promise. I won't let him take advantage of me. I'll do it for my kids. I wish you all the best. You can expect the phone to arrive in approximately two weeks. I can't wait to see it. Thank you so much for everything. You're welcome. David, where are you? I'm on my way home. Why? I know the truth. The truth about what? You know what I'm talking about. I'll give you a hint. It has something to do with your assistant. I can't believe she actually went ahead and did this to me. I asked her to give me some time. Who went ahead and did what? I have my own sources. I don't want to hear excuses. Just tell me that it's true. It's true. My life's been a living nightmare ever since the day I found out. I offered her money to take care of it, but she refused to do it. I don't know what I can do to make it stop. I can tell you what you should have done if that makes you feel any better. She deceived me, Irene. She seduced me. She said she was on birth control. That woman is out of her mind. If only there had been a way to avoid all of this altogether. What am I saying? No such magical thing exists. I am the victim. I was manipulated into spending one night with her. Just one. Oh, of course. Woe is you, my poor defenseless husband. I'm shedding tears over your misfortune. How dare she use her irresistible feminine wiles to tempt you. Who does she think she is? I can't tell if you're being serious or not. It's 50-50. You know how much I love you. It breaks my heart to see you suffer. You've been so restless and stressed out over this. Exactly. Thank you. I knew you'd understand. I do. I really, truly do. But I'm also scared. Scared of what? That woman? She has little to nothing to her name. She can't harm us. She has her charms, her looks. What if you decide to leave me behind and go after her? Once you hold your child in your arms, you might even change your mind about having kids. What are you saying, dear? I love you with all my heart. We've stuck through thick and thin. With her, I was only acting out of fantasy. It's never been anything serious. Not even close to what we have. The last thing I want is to have to spend even a millisecond with that child. I'm nearing 50. I won't let some angsty teen ruin my retirement. Do you mean that? Of course. Will you prove that? How? I feel how. Immense sadness. But deep down, I also feel intense hatred. I want to watch over your shoulder as you shatter her illusions. Tell her you'll never leave your wife to marry her. I want you to fire her and tell her you won't even bother paying child support. And then you'll block her. You'll block her phone number and her social media profiles. After we get rid of her, we can go on a vacation so that you can relax and de-stress. I'd love to do that, but can I really avoid paying child support? I'm not sure. We'll have to speak to an attorney about that. Since we won't be divorcing, we'll have more than enough money to take care of these small annoyances. 
All that matters now is that she gets scared. God, Irene, you can be so ruthless sometimes. Oh, so you won't do it? I will. I promise. I'll do it as soon as I get home. Thank you. I have a feeling it will be very entertaining. I'll make some popcorn and open a bottle of wine. That sounds wonderful. If you are willing to wait a bit longer, we can do it over a steak dinner. I could fire up the grill. As you wish, dear. I want you to enjoy this just as much as I will. And I want to hear that enjoyment in your voice. The fact is, I'm neither Jessica's trusted advisor nor my husband's devoted wife. I took great pleasure in watching them destroy one another. It's been two years of drawn-out court cases going back and forth. It's only a matter of time until one of them runs out of funds and surrenders. Maybe then they'll try to reconcile. I don't know, and frankly, I don't care. We got divorced as soon as those awful allegations were brought up against him. Who could ever fault a wife for wanting to escape that marriage? I told him I was very disappointed in him. You can probably guess which side the court favored. Oh, and I did, in fact, have the phone shipped to her address. I made sure to avoid linking the transaction to my name. The best money I have ever spent.